Also breaking at this hour, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, now part of Stellantis, has pleaded guilty in a long running corruption probe. It was just not too long ago that they formally admitted to paying more than $3.5 million in personal expenses for senior UAW officials. Let's get out to our Rob Maloney. He joins us now live with these breaking developments. Rod, what are you learning? Well, uh, what we learned this morning in about an hour long court hearing is that uh, FCA, uh, part of Stellantis, has pleaded guilty. And essentially what is going on here is that Stellantis, with its new management, is sort of taking over and sort of cleaning up messes that were left from the previous administration. And uh, so let's take a look at precisely what it is that they pled guilty to today. And it's the long the long running story that we've been seeing and checking on for the last several years now. But it's all about the improper National Training Center funding that uh, FCA spent between 2009 and 2014, about three and a half million dollars that were given to UAW officials. Uh, General Holofield was uh, among them, uh, the late General Holofield. He was the UAW vice president at the time for, uh, for Chrysler. They had Norwood Jewel, he uh, went to prison. Uh, they had a big party for him, got a custom made shotgun and had a big party for him. Um, and that was sort of in, in line with a lot of the differing things that were done that a lot of UAW officials and also Alphonse Iacobelli, the vice president uh, for, uh, for Chrysler at the time for a union uh, labor relations, having and buying things like expensive fans and Ferrari automobiles and having parties and golf and expensive food uh, given to the UAW officials. And that was all part of that three and a half million dollars that was uh, part of that. And so what now uh, FCA agrees to is federal oversight for the next three years. There will be a federal monitor making sure that there are no uh, uh, payments to UAW in this fashion going forward and that uh, FCA is going to pay a $30 million fine as a result. And when asked, uh, one of the attorneys for uh, FCA said, you know, how do you plead? He says, guilty, Your Honor. And that's how this ended. So uh, in many ways, it looks they're looking to put an end to this chapter uh, in the FCA UAW history. Uh, and uh, Rory Gamble, the UAW head that we spoke with a couple of weeks ago, uh, said that the union is now looking to move forward, that it's a greatly changed union uh, since that time. And so uh, we'll be looking more into this and talking a little bit more about what it means. But it, uh, it does bring to a close a rather ugly chapter in the automotive industry. Reporting live from Auburn Hills, Rod Maloney, Local 4.